In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NFL games happening on October 30th, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three three NFL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Denver Broncos vs. Jacksonville Jaguars The Denver Broncos have been absolutely brutal throughout the season as they are currently last in the AFC West with a 2-5 record as they are on a four-game losing streak. They are coming off a 16-9 home loss against the New York Jets. Backup quarterback Brett Ripien struggled as was 2-4 for 4-6 with 225 yards with zero touchdowns and one interception in the game. The Jacksonville Jaguars will be the home team in a neutral site game on Sunday morning at Wembley Stadium in London, England. England. The Jags are third in the FC South with a 2-5 record as well and are also on a four-game losing streak after a 23-17 home loss against the New York Giants. Trevor Lawrence had a decent game as he finished 2-2 of 4-3 for 310 yards without a touchdown or an interception. Denver is 1-4 against the spread in their last five games against a team with a losing record and 3-8 against the spread in their last 11 games overall while the under is 4-0 in their last four games following an against the spread loss. Jacksonville is 1-6 against the spread in their last seven games against a team with a losing record and 8 to 20 against the spread in their last 28 games overall while the under is 14 to 6 in their last 20 games following a loss russell wilson is a solid quarterback throughout his career but he has been absolutely terrible with a 35.2 qbr but is still going to start for this game after missing last week's game with a hamstring injury this denver team has been unable to score points throughout the season but they are scoring just 11 points in their last three games while the jaguars are average averaging 22 points in their previous two games. The kicking is surprisingly one-sided in different ways when you see the names as Brandon McManus is 1-5 for 1-9 in field goals this season for Denver while Riley Patterson is 1-0 for 1-1 on field goal tries thus far. The Jaguars have covered the spread in five of their last seven games against the Broncos. Denver is a disaster and the Jaguars are simply the better football team right now. So the Jacksonville Jaguars to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Neither quarterback has been leading their respective offense as Trevor Lawrence has thrown for one touchdown in his previous three games while Russell Wilson has three touchdown passes in his last four games and has five total passing touchdowns this season. Both running attacks are depleted as the Jaguars have traded away running back James Robinson for a draft pick while running back Javon Williams is out for the season for the Broncos. These defenses have been doing well as neither team has allowed more than 20 points per game and both have been doing pretty well overall. The under has hit in each of the last last four Broncos games following a loss as well as hitting in eight of the previous 11 Jaguars games against teams with a losing record. It's a low total, but I honestly think it's low for a reason. The Broncos have been abysmal offensively with or without Wilson, and Jacksonville is again, not a team I'm looking to back in the favorite role. I believe this is going to be an offensive slop fest for 60 minutes. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Chicago Bears vs. Dallas Cowboys The Chicago Bears and Dallas Cowboys meet Sunday in Week 8 NFL action. The Chicago Bears look to get back to a .500 record. The Dallas Cowboys look for a win after winning five of their last six games. When these two teams faced off in 2019, it was Chicago that secured the 31-24 victory. The Bears are 2-5 against the spread in their last seven road games and 1-3-1 against the spread in their last five games overall. The Cowboys are 11-1 against the spread versus a team with a losing record and 21 to 8 against the spread in their last 29 games overall the over is 5 to 2 in bears last seven road games the under is 6 to 1 to 1 in cowboys last eight games overall the over is 7 to 0 in the last seven meetings it was a shocking addition of monday night football as the bears who are plus 8.5 point underdogs beat the patriots 33 to 14. justin fields and the chicago offense looked like a real nfl offense for one of the first times this season and it was against a respect respectable New England defense. However, the Bears traded D.E. Robert Quinn following his exceptional Monday night performance, so the already weak Chicago defensive line
line is now abysmal. On offense, it was the Bears' running game that sealed the win against the Patriots as they finished with 243 yards as a team. Fields was the leading rusher with 82 yards. Unfortunately for Chicago, the Dallas defense is nothing like New England's. In every sense of the word, the Cowboys' defense is elite. They have allowed the second fewest points, the sixth fewest yards, and are tied for the fewest touchdowns allowed. Micah Parsons has led a Dallas defense that is outstanding at applying pressure as they rank first in sacks and fifth in turnovers. I'm confident that the Cowboys will be able to get to fields numerous times due to the weak Chicago offensive line, and I also like Dak Prescott's chances of another solid performance. He returned to the field last weekend against the Lions and the Cowboys went on to win 24-6. Prescott was 1-9 of 2-5 for 207 yards and a touchdown against a strong Detroit secondary, and should be able to build off his Week 7 performance with a thrashing of the Bears in Week 8. The Chicago Bears are in a bit of a letdown spot after their upset win over the Patriots, and they're on a short week. Also, no matter how well the Bears played last week, they still have major issues along their offensive line, have a limited passing game because of it, and their defense is 29th against the run. The Dallas Cowboys are at home, and Dak Prescott has had a week to get the rust off and find his rhythm in this offense. That above-average Cowboys defense that leads the league with 29 sacks should have a field day against that Bears offensive line. I usually advise against over a touchdown favorite, but the sobering reality for Chicago is that they cannot protect their quarterback terrible matchup for the visiting side, so the Dallas Cowboys to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Bears are averaging 18 points per game and 19 points per game on the road. They averaged 25 points per game in their last three games against the Cowboys. With Dallas giving up 15 points per game, the Bears will be held under their average in this game. The Cowboys are averaging 19 points per game and 18 points per game at home. They averaged 32 points per game in their last three games against the Bears. They have a very good running game and they're facing a defense that is 29th in the league against the run and is giving up 22 and a half points per game on the road. So expect them to score enough points to help push the score past the total. Additionally, the Bears and Cowboys played over the total in their last seven meetings. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. New England Patriots vs. New York Jets The New England Patriots pay a visit to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey on Sunday for an AFC East showdown with the red-hot New York Jets. New England has had a short week after losing to the Chicago Bears 33-14 on Monday Night Football. The Patriots gained 260 yards and committed four turnovers. New England changed quarterbacks during the game, but sources say the Patriots will remain with Mac Jones as their starting signal caller. New York has won four straight in five of the last six after after defeating the Denver Broncos 16-9. The Patriots are 3-1-1 against the spread in their last five games overall. The Jets are 4-0 against the spread in their last four games. The home team is 10-4-1 against the spread in the last 15 meetings. The under is 5-1 in the last six meetings in New York. Bill Belichick has won 12 straight over his former employer and 32 of the last 38 dating back to 2003. Sure, a lot of those games were with Tom Brady under center, but the last four weren't, including a 79 to 19 scoring margin in the two meetings last season with Mac Jones starting. Jones will get the nod again this week despite the emergence of Bailey Zapp. Don't get me wrong, I love Zappauer more than anyone, but Jones is the guy in New England, and I think he will play much better this week. I'm also not overreacting to the Bears' beatdown on MNF. Not only was Chicago rested off the mini-buy, but they also went against tendency on offense by utilizing more QB rollouts and motion with Justin Fields which helped set up the running game in the second half. New England will be much more buttoned up on defense this week against a less mobile QB in Zach Wilson and more predictable Jets offense that will be missing two key pieces in the run game. Rookie star RB Brees Hall is out for the year with a torn ACL and starting RT Alija Vera Tucker is also done for the season with a triceps injury. They did trade for Jaguars RB James Robinson, but WR Corey Davis left Sunday's win with a knee injury and is questionable this week. Stopping the run has been a problem for the Patriots' defense all season, allowing almost 50% of rushing plays to be graded successful, but they're catching the Jets at the perfect time. On the other side of the ball, the Jets' defense has looked great thanks to Sauce Gardner's elite play in the secondary, but I'm not sure that matters much in this particular matchup. Styles make fights, and I don't think the Patriots will try to force the ball towards Gardner in one-on-one -on -one matchups. They would much rather establish the run and take what the defense gives them in the passing game. New England has some of the most conservative splits of any team in the NFL with the six fewest passing attempts and eight 
eighth most rushing attempts this season. The Jets' success rate on defense drops from fifth against the pass to 29th against the run, so the New England Patriots to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The total has finished over in six of New York's last eight games played during the month of October and in 21 of the last 31 that the Jets have faced a team with a losing record. New England has seen the total finish over in four of the last five games overall and in seven of the last 10 games when playing against a team with a winning record. New England is coming off a game in which the Patriots allowed 33 points to a below average Chicago offense. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.